So, of course, there are going to be these people who hate the new Spider-Man movies. I don't know why the people who just absolutely hate him. I find Homecoming to be the most overrated of the new Spider-Man trilogy. I think Far from No Way Home, not Far From Home, is going to be amazing. You know, it's going to have a main throwback to the older Spider-Man movies and the newer ones. I think it's going to be an amazing movie, but these are the same people who said Black Widow flopped. This is just basically, why are you keep, mm, so obsessed with this total band stuff? Doing new things. New Way Home to be the Rise of Skywalker 2.0 changed my mind. Well, unlike the sequel trilogy, not many people really hate the new Spider-Man movies. Outside of people who wish that the new Spider-Man movies would be like the older Spider-Man movies, you know, Tobey Maguire, you know, Worshippers practically, you know, other than those people, nobody really, um, yeah, cares. You know, nobody really cares about the nostalgia that much, it just makes the mood, it's a, it's just knowing these old characters back is pretty good. It's pretty heartwarming to see these old characters back, and why can't people just enjoy a movie? I don't know why this is so hard for these people, especially the fans of Menace, where they kept trying to sink Black Widow, and it's still, and they, they still failed. They still failed, that's the ironic part. They still failed, you know... At all, card they still failed trying to make Black Widow flop. Yet Black Widow did not flop. Flop. Yep, the fan base will say, "But we be free of million dollars in the feeders." But you know, there's other sources. Movies can make revenue, of course. Other sources, movies can make revenue, and Black Widow made around 140 to 125 million on Disney Plus. That's of course excluding future on demand sales, TV deals, and other things that he's gonna do to make back to make even more money on that movie, and. I still think $200 million spent on the Black Widow movie was was overboard to begin with. So it been like $100 to $125 million to Shazam. It's funny how Shazam only cost $90 million, $100 to $125 million to make. And Black Widow made the same amount of money as Shazam. Which is a comparable comparison. And Shazam was a relatively unknown, underrated, more underrated hero. And also was in the foreshadow of Avengers Endgame when it came out as well. I watched both movies. Both movies are amazing. So, yep. Yeah, keep crying about No Way Home. You know, most people are going to like it. Most people are going to go watch it. Either on Blu-ray, DVD, you know, every streaming service it lands on. Or on feeders. This is probably the most people's preferred, preferred choices. So, that's basically it. Goodbye.